Hello, here we are again. Right, two or three weeks after installing the the uh, Extron's head unit, here's an update. I've got used to it. I think it's brilliant. I don't regret buying it. There's nothing wrong with it. I would recommend it to you. That's the short version of this video. Um, I'll just show you how I use it. I leave that. I haven't bothered with a launcher. Yes, they look pretty. But I found there were little compromises here and there with how it works when you use a launcher, whereas everything is where you need it on how it comes out of the factory. So apart from moving, you know, icons around, I've left it pretty much stock. So this is my car stereo. It shows me the time. That's the radio. That's if I want to play things off the USB um, inputs. That's what I use for sat nav ways. That's what I use for podcasts. That's mainly how I, what I use on the car. So the radio, yeah, the radio the works. I just wanna be part of your as you know, it goes as loud as you want it. It's only not even halfway at the minute, and I have to shout to talk over it. So the radio works. It's good. Turn it off with the little on off there. Like I say, I use Waze for my sat nav just because other people tell me where the speed cameras are and I'm a devil for a speed camera. So uh, that's all working properly. It's easy to add addresses. I've just got my home in there. It takes me there. Um, pocket casts, which is uh, podcasts. It just, it, they come up as new releases, whatever. You, you touch one, it plays. As long as you've got an always connected data connection, which I have, so it's fine. It works, um, no problem. Moving along, uh, I use simple radio for DAB. I don't have a DAB radio installed because I didn't want to stick more stuff to the windscreen, but this works fine. Um, it take a couple of seconds to connect because it's the internet after all, but then it, it will work. Um, I, I closed all the apps before I started this demo, so they're all they're all loading. That works. So that's USB audio, FM radio, podcasts, DAB radio. You can set different profiles for, you know, different sound. This horrible middly thing is mainly for speech. Um, Deezer works. You can play your playlists, your favourite tracks, whatever. There we are. David Bowie Black Star just works. Um, music, no problem at all. This thing here, this is the dash cam. There we are. It's a, a wet afternoon in Mansfield, aka a normal day. So that's the dash cam. It's constantly recording. As long as that blob is flashing, it's recording. Sometimes when you load the dash cam, um, you just get the generic dash cam screen, which is a, a road in sunny California. Don't worry about it. As long as that red blob is flashing, it's recording. You don't, you never watch it anyway, so who cares? As long as it's recording, all is good. The reversing camera, if I go into reverse, there we are. That's the parking spot behind me. That works. Um, what else have we got? If we open the doors, that shows. Um, if I plug in the little OBD thing, it shows me the state of the engine and everything. Um, this one is for streaming uh, Bluetooth from your phone, which is easy to do. No problem. Uh, there's the cart scanner, there's Google Maps should you need them. Um, there's the DAB radio app if you need it. Um, all of the players work. In fact, before I started speaking to you, I was watching an Amazon Prime video because I'm waiting for my wife. That works. No problem at all. Um, steering wheel integration. Somebody asked about that. Um, if I want to make a phone call, I just touch the phone button. It brings up the dialer. But also, if you see on the... Uh, uh, if you see on the... Unplug the phone, it's going to go flat. If you see on the central display... I've got my normal phone book, so I can dive in there, I can call the wife. If I do call the wife, 
she comes up on the main screen and it and it rings her no problem at all um, the back button works on the steering wheel the volume control on the steering wheel works um, what else is there what else could you possibly want to know um, I think I've touched everything haven't I um, yeah I recommend this unit it's very good one day last week after about two hours use it turned itself on and off it was random I've no idea why it did that it hasn't done it since that's been the only weirdness that I've had with it um, as I say it does what it says on the tin it was plug and play to install really easy to install um, the only thing that was in slightly difficult was the reversing camera and that's only because you've got to get a piece of wire from the back to the front but in my other video I show you how to do that um, and there we are really that's that's it so if you've got any questions do ask because I've learned a lot putting this in and um, if I'd known about it what I know about it now life would have been a lot simpler but uh, is if you've ever installed anything in your life it's okay so there you go i hope this helps uh bye